Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Cassie and today I'm going to be sharing with you my recommendations for the upcoming VIB sale at Sephora. This is their spring sale that they always do and it is 15% off for VIB and VIB Rouge members and 10% off for Beauty Insiders. Their fall sale is definitely way better because that one is 20% off, but this is still a good one. There are some products that you have been wanting to try so you can get a little extra money off. I will leave all three of the codes down below in the description box and VIB Rouge members do get a free exclusive tote with their purchases. This was actually really hard for me to gather products that I like really really love that I would totally recommend even if there was no sale going on. These pretty much are like my all-time favorite products from Sephora. The first product that I'm going to mention is the Estee Edit Pore Vanishing Moisturizer and this is a matte moisturizer plus primer. This is so amazing you guys. I seriously have not up to this day found anything like this. It keeps me matte for up to eight hours. I do not have to use primer when I use this. I literally just use this as my moisturizer and my primer and it is so amazing. Even though you only get 1.7 fluid ounces in this, I still would repurchase this and I definitely would recommend getting it while there is the sale going on. If you have been on the hunt for something that is going to control your oils, this will like nothing else. So if you tried this and something else that is just as good, that is a little bit cheaper, let me know girl because this is a lot for this little bottles. I really wish that you did get more product in here, but it's just so good. Like you can't deny it, you know? Some of these products were in my previous video, which was my underrated makeup products. So check that out if you haven't already. There's a lot of good stuff in there at drugstore and high end, but yeah, this was in there as well. And this is the Bare Minerals Blemish Remedy uh, Mattifying Prep Gel. This is a primer and this is really good. It's only $22, whereas this is 38. This keeps me matte for about eight hours and this keeps me matte for maybe four. So I do use this as a primer, like I said, so you are going to have to use a moisturizer underneath it. You can't use it as both. So, I mean, and that way it kind of isn't cheaper because, I mean, you're paying for a moisturizer plus this. So, I mean, it almost makes sense to go with this, but I do like this also. I feel like I just said this a lot. But anyways, this is good. I really don't hear a lot of people talking about it, but it really does work and it actually works better than a couple other mattifying products that I've used from Sephora recently. So, this is good and it does work. Okay, the next primer that I have is the Professional Pore Minimizing primer and this is so good this there's not a lot of primers that compare to this to be honest it fills in the pores amazingly amazingly is that a word um, I use this just right here because that's where my problematic pore area is. I mean, I have bigger pores on other parts of my face, but this is expensive and I really only like to target specific areas when I am going to use this. It is kind of silicone-y and I'm not a fan of silicone-y primers, but um, when I want very smooth, flawless skin, I will use this because it really does just completely erase your pores. Okay, the next product is also a primer. This is a recent find. <laughs> Actually... I literally used this for the first time today and I am stuck. I need this. I need this in full size. I'm going to get this in full size. It is so good. This is the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. This is just a little 100 point perk that I got. I am so happy that I got this when they had it for a 100 point perk. So I used this just on one side of my face today because I wanted to compare it with another primer that I used. And I can tell that the side that I used it on is smoother. This is the side that I used it on and I swear it looks smoother than the other side. Let me know down below if you can see a difference because I definitely, I mean right now it doesn't seem like I can see a huge difference but when I was out in daylight which is true true lighting in my car like you know in your car that's like the moment of truth when you are sitting in your car and you look in the mirror. That's the moment of truth. I definitely could tell that this was smoother than that side. So I absolutely love this. I think they sell like, I don't know, half an ounce and then an ounce and then the two ounce. They have the jumbo version now, which is such a good deal, honestly, because it's like you're getting two for the price of like a little over one or about one and a half bottles, which it's like really expensive still, but I just think it's so worth it. It keeps me matte. It smooths out my skin. I've never had a primer that controls my oils and blurs my pores, so... This is like sent from the heavens. Okay, so I have another primer-like product, and this is the Bosho White Charcoal Mattifying Makeup Setting Spray. And I have the smaller version. There is this size, which is one ounce, and then I think a four or five fluid ounce bottle, which is a really good deal, and I'm definitely gonna purchase that in the future when I run out of this. This product says that it is a fine mist that minimizes pores, gently mattifies, and sets makeup while keeping skin hydrated. Skin is left shine-free, yet hydrated, and makeup is locked in place. So you just shake it up really good, and then I use it to prime my face. Well, not really to prime, I use it 
um, pair it up with another primer. So I'll typically spray this and then I'll put my primer on or I'll put my primer on and then spray this. And this really does make my pores look smaller. It does help control my oils throughout the day. You can use this to set your makeup as well, which I have done before, but I am more of a fan of using this paired it with my primer, but um, it's really, really good. So if you've been curious about this and are wondering if it works, it really does. So, okay, the next product that I'm gonna mention is a moisturizer and I used this for the first time today, but I already want the full size. And this is the Ola Henriksen Counterbalance Oil Control Hydrator. This was a 100 point perk as well. I really like this because it feels much more hydrating than the Estee Edit one does. That, I forgot, I don't know if I mentioned or not, but that one you definitely, like that is for oily skin gals. Like if you have dry skin, don't get that. But this one I think could possibly work on dry skin. And it does say online that it is for all skin types, I'm pretty sure. It's very hydrating, it has a very strong scent. It says it is green fusion complex neem seed oil rose hip fruit extract it's minty and it's very strong I mean you can smell it when you're blending into your skin the scent does eventually go away once it's kind of set into your skin but if you're sensitive to scents then you may not like this but I think that it is controlling my oils I mean it's not controlling my oils like the Estee Edit does I have to keep using it but I really really like it and I am gonna purchase the full size which is why I figured I'd throw it in there so I don't know if I would 100% say like you need to run out and grab this but if you've been curious about it and are wondering if it does the job I really do think that it does and it is hydrating so it's a nice moisturizer even if you're just looking for one that isn't going to feel really greasy but is going to really hydrate your skin then you will like this but keep in mind all of the other uh things that i said about it <laughs> okay so the next product i'm going to mention these are all foundations that i'm going to talk about next the first one that i grabbed is the urban decay all nighter and this is just one of my holy grails you guys it is so good 100 full coverage it definitely has a matte finish if you have oily skin you're going to love this and it just covers everything it doesn't look dry on the skin like like, there are matte foundations that I've tried that look really dry and like kind of separatey because they're so dry. This does not do that. It just has a nice matte finish. Kathleen Lights talks about this and she has dry skin and it works on her skin. So I do think if you have dry skin, this will work. This foundation does oxidize quite a bit, like at least one shade, but I have the shade 2.0 and I'm pretty fair and this works for me even after it oxidizes. It's actually like the perfect shade. So I just absolutely love this. It's like I said, one of my holy grails. So totally recommend that. The next foundation that I'm going to mention is probably my number one holy grail foundation. This is the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation and this is just so 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 good. The only thing I don't like is the packaging. I have heard that they are revamping the packaging so that it's not so messy so I can't wait to see what they do with that. It has a nice beauty finish. I have the shade Jesus cat. I have the shade 26 bisque medium and it is too yellow for me. This has a nice like matte demi matte finish. It has 100% full coverage. You do not need a lot of product with this at all. I've had this for a while and I probably haven't even used like a third of this container or this container that doesn't seem like the right word anyways I just love this totally recommend it it's very very spendy and you guys I like I am all about saving money and you know bargain shopping and finding drugstore products that are just as good as high-end and there are lots of drugstore foundations that I love that are full coverage that have you know the same finish but I just still I will always repurchase this because it is just like it's amazing so if you've been itching to try that but you don't want to pay that full price get it during the sale to get the 10 or 15 percent off because it is just it's worth every penny the next product that i'm going to mention is the cover effects custom cover drops these are so good i did do a video comparing these to the hard candy pigment drops and i'll link that up in the cards if you want to check it out but in that video i did say that i probably wouldn't repurchase this in the future because the hard candy does the same thing but I've been trying them out or I've been continuing to try them out and I do think that this is just a little bit better. It has, and I actually think I mentioned this in the video, but these do have more pigment to them. You have to use a lot more products of the hard candy ones to get the same amount of pigment that these offer. And um, I like that these give more of a matte finish, whereas the hard candy ones are not quite as matte or maybe even they're not really matte at all. but. Anyways, the shade range in these are much better. These definitely add coverage. I usually add these to the I add these to the next foundation that I'm going to talk about actually. And if you have a foundation that you really love but doesn't give you the coverage that you want, these are going to be great. They are $44, but obviously with the sale you'll get a little bit better deal. And to me they're just worth every penny. You don't have to use a lot. You can use one to four or even five drops depending on the coverage that you want. So 
I don't know, I've had these for a while and I think they're gonna last me a while, so I think they're a really great investment to be honest. But anyways, the foundation that I really love adding them to is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation and this is just a 100 point perk I believe that I got. And this foundation is absolutely beautiful. Um, and these I would recommend for any skin type. I think they would work for dry skin, oily skin, whatever, and I think I've probably already said it, but I do have very oily skin. So this foundation is stunning. I think it will be great for all skin types, but if you have severely oily skin, you might not like this. I really love this like during the first two hours of wear. After that, it definitely does start to get quite oily on me. I have never experimented with this and used it with like a very mattifying primer or like even my Estee Edit moisturizer that I talked about earlier. So maybe I'll try that and see if it helps with the longevity of this. But the finish is just stunning. If you are going to be photographed, this is going to be great. It makes your skin look nice and plump. And I don't know. It's just a really great foundation. Okay, so let's move into powders. I have two loose powders and a pressed powder here. The first loose powder that we'll talk about is the Cinema Secrets Ultra Lucent Setting Powder and this is colorless. That's the shade. I think they have like six shades. So they have colorless and then they have a couple ranging from like light to dark or something like that. But the colorless one is the only one that I've tried. This is going to work for all skin tones. It is colorless. It is so amazing. There's really not a scent to this. The lid just twists off. This looks so beautiful on the skin. I use a damp sponge to apply mine. That's what I always use when I apply loose powders and it just melts right into your skin. It fills in all your fine lines, all your pores your I have very deep set wrinkles and this just fills them in so amazingly no matter what product that I use it's just such an amazing powder this is literally one of my holy grails this is only $22 on Sephora's website which is really good for Sephora loose setting powder with a 10 or 15% off it's gonna be even better so definitely get this this is such an underrated product it was in my underrated makeup products actually and so was this next powder the Ilia soft focus finishing powder this is a loose powder as well and this is translucent this is the only shade that they have it is very finely milled I'm not gonna okay let's not I do that again I was gonna show you the powder but I did that in my last video my underrated makeup products video and I poured it all over the floor so let's not do that this is way better than the Laura Mercier powder I honestly don't really like the Laura Mercier powder I think that one looks a little too dry on my skin this one keeps me matte all day long now that being said I do still think this would work for dry skin because it does not um, emphasize dry patches I have a lot of dry patches on my skin because I have a lot of texture going on and a lot of like breakouts right now and it did not emphasize any of that it has a little bit of a smoothing property to it as well not as much as the cinema secrets powder but it does smooth out the skin a little bit I just think this is such a wonderful powder it is so underrated I don't think there are any reviews on it there weren't when I bought it at least if you're one of the people in the world um, that like the two percent maybe that have not given into the Laura Mercier setting powder or loose powder hype um, don't even do it like just get this on Honestly. Okay, my last powder is a press powder, and this is It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores, and they do have a loose version of this, but I've never tried it. If you've tried it, let me know down below what you think of it. This is translucent. I think this would work on all skin tones. I've never noticed that it leaves like a white cast on my skin. If you have deeper skin and you've tried this and it didn't work, let me know because I'm curious, but um, this is just absolutely amazing. This definitely does help to blur your pores, and I use this to set my entire face. I used it to set my entire face today and I really like using it like on my pitted areas where I have a lot of acne scarring because it really helps to just smooth that area of my face out and it's just a really stunning powder I don't really hear a lot of people raving about it but maybe it's just because it's been around for a while but I really really love it you guys it's so so good okay so let's move into bronzers and the first bronzer that I'm going to talk about, actually the next one isn't a bronzer, but whatever. This is the Sephora Los Cabos bronzer, and I believe this is like the old packaging. Actually, this is probably... <laughs> This is really old. I should probably throw it away, to be honest. I just love this because the shade, like you can see, I've hit major paint on this. This shade is so strange because it's like, you can use it as a bronzer, but I find that it also works for contouring on me. Like I have pretty fair skin, and this is just a really great bronzing and contouring shade. Um, I use it to bronze today. It is a little warmer than my typical contour shade, and it's warmer than the next product that I'm going to mention, but um, I just think it's really great, and I noticed that in the newer packaging, this is on sale for $7 right now, so if you take the 10 or 15 off of that, then it's going to be even cheaper, so that's a really, really great deal, and I need to jump on that because I am, like, running low. Okay, this next product that I'm going to mention is... This is really, really hyped, you guys, and I don't really know that I would buy the full size, but this is the Kevin Aquan Contour Duo, and this is the little mini version. I really wish that they would sell, like, just this contour shade by itself. If they do, let me know. I haven't really looked, to be honest. This contour shade really is, like, just amazing. It's, like, the perfect contour shade of life, like, 
just look at that. I'll swatch the um, Los Cabos bronzer next to it so you can kind of see the difference. So that is the Los Cabos and that's the Kevin Aquan. You can see the Kevin Aquan is more cool toned and that's the highlighter right there. It's nothing like life changing, but I love this contour shade. I used it to contour today. It is just, it's the perfect contour shade. Okay, so the next products that we're gonna talk about are highlights and I have three here. So I'll go ahead and talk about this one first. This is the Sephora Illuminating Palette and this is somewhat new, but this is absolutely amazing, you guys. Like you get a really great shade range in here. I think this is gonna work on all skin tones and the quality is really great. I'm wearing it on this side of my face today. I'm wearing like, Three different. I'm actually wearing all of the highlighters that I'm going to talk about today, but and I'm wearing pretty much every shade in the palette except for these two. You get this light pinky shade, this light bronze shade, a white, a light yellowish shade, and then the dark bronzing shade, and then a like darker pink shade. These just have a really beautiful sheen to them. Ugh, I think I'm mixing all the shades. You guys, I am not doing a great job swatching right now, but. Anyway, these are just really stunning. They reflect the light really beautifully. You can see on my face that they look really gorgeous. I mean, at least to me. But um, these can be a very natural highlight or you can build them up to be very intense like I did today. Even if you're fair, I think you're gonna be able to use a lot, most of these shades because they're not as dark on the skin as they are in the pan. So just a really, really great highlighting palette. The next highlighting palette that I'm gonna mention is the Smashbox Spotlight Palette in Pearl. And this is the collaboration with Casey Holmes and Smashbox and this is the lighter version she also did a gold palette and this is so stunning I'm wearing it on this side of my face but I'm also wearing another highlighter over top of it so it's not really a good example but I did a video giving one of these away which I already did pick the winner but if you want to check that out I'll link it up here I also talked about the best highlighters under $20 and then at the end I applied this to my face so if you want to see how it applies and looks on the skin then go ahead and check that video out because I did use all three of the shades this third shade does have glitter in it I don't know if that will pick up on camera but she did that on purpose because she wanted it for that more intense glittery highlight if you don't like glittery highlights then you may not like that shade but it doesn't look super glittery and like chunky on the skin at all these do not emphasize your texture whatsoever so I really love that about it and I thought that these were gonna be too dark on my skin because and it may not pick on camera pick up on camera but these are a little bit darker they're kind of like rosy looking in a way but they do not look dark on the skin these are gonna be really great for fair skin and these look beautiful on deeper skin tones as well but if you do have deeper skin and you like more of a gold highlight then go for the gold palette but this is just a really great quality okay this next highlight that we're gonna talk about is the Tarte Amazonian clay highlighter in the shade stunner and I think this is their newest shade from the line there are three shades in this line and I think exposed was the first one which is more of a nude highlight and I think that's like the um, middle darkest shade the third darkest shade is like a rose gold I believe but these smell like chocolate I really hate when YouTubers sit there and like sniff their products constantly in their videos, but honestly, this smells so good. If you are sensitive to scents, you may not like this because as soon as you open it, you are gonna smell that chocolatey smell. I swatched these in store and I wasn't excited about it at all, but like, why did I swatch that right there? That is so weird. I really don't know why I did that. I think I swatched it right here on my arm too, this, this one going down, but I'm wearing this over top of the Casey Holmes Smashbox palette and like these do not kick up any powder when you dip your brush into them. Like, they are $28. I got this on sale 50% off during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty so it was only $14 but I would pay $28 for this. It is wonderful quality. But again the next one that we're going to talk about is the Anastasia Brow Wiz. You should have known this was going to be in here. This is like cult favorite brow product. I got these during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale as well. I got two of them for $10.69 and I was like about to pass out. I somehow had $11 in Ulta Rewards points. I got two for the price of half of one. So that was freaking amazing. These are so good. It's actually much more stiff than I remember. I have the shade Taupe. I'll have to try it again and see what I think. But if you've been wanting to try it out, definitely get it now. Or if you just love it and you want some backups, then get it now, girl. Okay, so now we'll move into setting spray. I actually have two setting sprays to talk about, but I only have one of them physically. So this is the Urban Decay D Slick Makeup setting spray this is so so good you guys like this is a game changer I don't know what took me so long to try this I know the all-nighter is a really popular one too which I haven't tried but this is really good if you have oily skin when you spray this on your face and it like dries down which it doesn't take very long it does make your skin feel kind of tight but I like that because I can like feel that it's going to work you know what I mean and 
you know what I mean? It's a really nice fine mist, like the spray. It is very fine and it doesn't like soak your face, which I really like. It is definitely one of the best setting sprays on the market for sure if you have oily skin. The other setting spray that I want to talk about is the Sephora makeup setting spray. And I don't remember what it's called, but I will go ahead and insert a picture right now. This setting spray is so good. It actually is very comparable to this one. It doesn't control your oils as well as this one does, but it's like half the price. So I think that is actually going to complete this video. Before we go, I just need to showcase my sweater. This is um, in honor of the Tayla and the what she's doing with Project Beauty Share and what they are is an organization that provides makeup and you know hygiene products to women in transition from being homeless. And the Tayla has teamed up with them to help raise money for them. And I ordered this shirt because 100% of the proceeds for their t-shirt and sweater sales go to Project Beauty Share. I will leave the link to her video explaining everything down below. And if you go to that. Like I said, she'll have everything you need to know in that video and in her description box if you want to donate some products or if you want to buy any of the shirts or, um, and she does have heck yeah versions. So please go check it out. Please go support because I think it's a really great thing that they're doing. So that's going to complete this video. My daughter is like yanking me all around. I'm sorry, but let me know what you're going to be purchasing during the VIB sale. And if there's anything that wasn't in this video that you're going to be purchasing, I would love to hear. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and make sure that you subscribe if you you haven't already and hit the little bell next to the subscribe button if you want to be notified every time that I upload a video. I do upload three times a week. I will see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.